Classroom Management by Valerie Blyler. Philosophy. I agree with Spencer Kagan because he understands what we've been learning in our textbooks and at our classes this semester that we have to understand why a student is doing a bad behavior before we can decide how we're going to respond. Student-teacher relationships. I believe that a student and a teacher should have a positive relationship while a, te while a student still respects a teacher. A student should feel comfortable coming to a teacher about anything that they need help with. If the student doesn't feel comfortable with the teacher, then the teacher, in my opinion, is failing. I believe in a medium level of control. I believe a medium level of control is enough to get the kids to respect you, but not make it so the kids feel uncomfortable in your classroom or feel like you're too strict. Teacher roles and responsibility. These are my teacher roles and responsibility. I think these responsibilities are good because in the classroom management textbook, it says that a teacher should be fair, consistent, respectful, care about their students, listen to their students, and be positive. These are my student roles and responsibilities. I want my students to understand that they are expected to try their best, but their best may mean something different every day. As a future teacher, I want to try to get my students to do more projects, personalize my lesson to their individual talents and intelligences, and make sure that my teaching is a positive experience for them and they come away liking what they've learned and liking their experience in my classroom. <clears throat> Democratic classrooms. My two ideas for establishing a democratic classroom is having a classroom meeting and doing voting. A classroom meeting, I think, will be a great way from, for my students to build a relationship with each other, as well as make a time where we can discuss problems that have been coming up in the classroom that may be disturbing our learning. I also will take this time to listen to how my students feel about what they're learning. Voting. I think that teachers struggle because they don't listen to student feedback. I think that voting will be good because my students can tell me how they feel and the quiet students can also feel comfortable telling me how they feel because it will be anonymous. These are the two quotes about democratic classrooms that I really liked that we read online. Intentions for motivation. My extrinsic, my extrinsic motivations are going to be that the kids can earn tickets based on their good behavior that they can spend at the class store. They can earn points that eventually, if they get enough points, they can have a class party of their choice. And then if they do all their homework, obviously they'll get good grades. Intrinsic, extrinsic motivations will help my students when they don't feel intrinsically motivated to do something. My intrinsic motivations are that I'm going to try to give them some autonomy on their projects and let them choose what they would like to do for their projects. I also want to see them create their own goals that they think if they accomplish will be intrinsically motivating. Lastly, I want my, to point out to my students the accomplishment of the work that they finished. For example, I'll say something like, wow, you just finished that entire paper and 10 minutes ago there was nothing on it. Classroom rules and procedures. These are the class rules that I've decided I want to establish in my classroom. I think that these are a good set of rules because in our textbook it says that rules should be a pro should make it so that there is appropriate behavior and that teaching and learning can take place. The textbook also suggests that there only be between three to five rules. These rules work well because they protect the teacher's right to teach, the students' right to learn are protected, the students' rights to learn are protected, psychological and physical safety is ensured, and property is protected. I will establish these rules on the first day. I will make sure the students know the rules as well as the positive and negative consequences. I will give them examples of good and bad behavior so they understand what is appropriate to the rules and what is not. I will also post the rules on the wall where the students can see them and review them frequently in our classroom meetings. Positive consequences are that students can earn tickets, earn points, uh, earn free time, as well as be happy, productive, safe, and feel accepted. Negative consequences are that they will lose points, they will have to come talk to me, and if things do not improve, they may have to go to the principal's office, but that's really the last resort. I want to try to work through my students' behavior and find good compromises and good ways that we can solve things before I get outside help. Prevention. Positive report. I want to create a positive report with my students by letting them know that I have positive intents and telling them and showing them how I care about that I care about them. In the textbook, it says that a teacher should have more positive to negative statements 
so that students are more encouraged to do good behavior instead of just feeling frustrated about how much they get in trouble for their bad behavior. I will communicate to my students that I have high expectations and that I think a lot of my students. In the textbook, it talked about how if we have high expectations for our students, then our students will understand that we believe in them and we think that they are very capable and this will make them want to behave better and want to try hard on their work. These are my classroom procedures. The only thing I have to say about this is that I want to change the way that we do bathrooms. I think that schools do bathroom breaks wrong because they have the kids take bathroom passes which get very dirty when all the kids are taking them to the bathroom. So I'm gonna have bathroom blocks that the, te that the kids just set on their desk and that way when I'm teaching, I can see that Joey's at the bathroom and I'll know exactly where he is but he doesn't have to take the pass with him and get it all dirty. I will post these procedures where the kids can see them as well as review them frequently in our classroom meeting. Interventions. A student is distracted with an object. I will let the student know that I want them to put the object away. This is situational assistance because I'm simply just telling a student to change something that they're doing in a particular situation. I will be assertive and make sure that I tell them exactly what I want them to do. Student is disrupting another student during instruction. I will send an iMessage instead of calling the student out. I then may say a comment if they do not change their behavior, redirecting the student to what I want them to do. Students who blur out answers during instruction, I will refer to the class rules on the wall and have them remind me of what the proper way is of saying something in class. If a student is non-compliant, I will try my best to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with that student, but once again, if they will still be non-compliant, then obviously I will have to go to outside help. This is really the last resort, which is why I decided to make this behavior serious. Student is bored and unengaged. Obviously, this would be a mild behavior, but once again, it's like Kagan's philosophy where I need to find out why the student is unengaged. I will have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with this student and we will work together to find a plan for the student to become more engaged quickly. Student constantly tattles. It's said in the textbook that for tattling, you should tell the students that they know that they are not supposed to always be tattling on everything and make sure that they know exactly what you want them to tell you and what you don't need them to tell you. So when the student continues to tattle, I will talk to her and let her know what she should and should not report to me and help her to understand how she can respond differently to things that she's frustrated about. Student has a hard time getting ready to work. Once again, this is another behavior where we need to find out why they're acting the way they are. So I'll have a one-on-one -on -one conversation and find out why they're having a hard time working and then tell them what they should do in the, in the situation that they are having a hard time working. I will say something like, when this, when you become frustrated with doing your work, I want you to do blank. Student pushes another student in line. I said this was a severe behavior because it's actually physically hurting another student. Once again, we have to find out why they're doing the behavior. So I said that I wanna come talk to the student and find out what occurred, what occurred, as well as remind the student of what my expectations are for how they should behave. I will then make sure the student understands how, she, how he or she can act differently in the future. Students are talking during instruction. So for this one, I referred to the textbook and it told me that when students are talking during instruction, we should not punish the entire class, which is why I said that I should tell them to stop talking, remind them of what I expect, as well as give them a positive incentive to stop. For example, I could say, if you guys stop talking or quiet during the lesson, I can give you a class point. This is my classroom map. I based it after a classroom that I've been working in practicum. I really like the setup of the classroom because it has a help table in the back. This help table makes it so that the kids who are having a hard time can get help directly from the teacher. For my resource pages, um, I wasn't able to fit them, but they are my pamphlet as well as um, they're my pamphlet as well as these strategies that we came up with in class. Thank you for listening to my classroom management plan.